Tonight, the family of the man shot and killed by Denver police feels justice has not been served for Paul Castaway, the DA just releasing this video today. After announcing the officer who pulled the trigger there won't face charges. 7 News reporter Mark Boyle is live, and Mark Castaway's mother feels the DA got this one wrong. She says that she will sue the city if the DA doesn't charge the officer. The DA in this newly released report calls the shooting justified tonight in Paul Castaway's old neighborhood, a memorial two months and two days after his death. This video released by the Denver DA's office. You can see Paul Castaway run from police. Then with several children watching on, Castaway approaches police with a knife held to his own neck. That's when one of the officers shot and killed him. The report released today says the officer felt he couldn't back up anymore, knew there were kids behind him, and was left with no choice but to shoot Castaway. Castaway's mother, Lynn Eaglefeather, and others feel otherwise. My son needed help. I called for help not to be killed. A memorial walk held tonight around the neighborhood, ending at the spot Castaway was shot. Castaway's cousin, Thomas Murado, disappointed with the city's leadership. When we can't expect them to be on our side, you know, then there lies the conflict. In the middle of the development, the laundromat, the camera mounted on the side that witnessed the shooting. Also, though, the family says about 15 children witnessed that shooting, and it's their well-being that they're concerned about now. They're traumatized by this traumatic event. Lynn Eaglefeather says she's not after the city's money here. She and others gathered tonight in search of something else. I want justice. I want justice. Justice for Paul. Justice, justice for Paul. Justice for Paul. Justice for Paul. Now, Lynn Eaglefeather has retained an attorney in order to pursue further legal action. The DA in the report says Paul Castaway's actions led to his death. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Live in Denver, Mark Boyle, 7 News.